We dismiss history at our peril. Liberty Nation Radio with Mark Angelides. The Biden family money trail continues to lead down the rabbit hole and a whole lot more on today's edition of Liberty Nation Radio, heard coast to coast on the Radio America Network. I'm your host, Mark Angelides. On today's show, we'll be examining the latest revelations between Hunter and Joe Biden, delving into a little economics and talking liberty with Scott D. Casenza as always. Remember, this show is proudly sponsored by LibertyNation.com. You can access podcasts, breaking news, analysis, and a range of biting and brilliant shows to whet your appetite for freedom and your fondness for the great American Constitution. Let's get started. It's Groundhog Day again for Hunter Biden as more documents are released by the House Oversight Committee showing that there was indeed a financial trail from Hunter Biden to Joe Biden. What to make of it all? Well, we're very fortunate to have with us Liberty Nation's chief political correspondent who has been following this like a bloodhound, uh, also known as the Spider-Man of LibertyNation.com as of today, which I appreciate. Mr. Graham J. Noble, thanks for being here, Graham. Good to be here, Mark. So, Graham, we, we've talked about this topic before, haven't we? The money trail mm. for the for the Bidens uh, and how pretty much everybody on the political left says it, in positions of power. I should make that that very clear. Pretty much everybody in a position of power on the political left says that there is no evidence of criminality or there's no evidence of money being uh, used with an influence scheme that goes to Joe Biden. Whereas that's very different for the actual voting public, who, according to surveys, quite a hefty percentage do believe that money did go. But mm-hmm. could you give us the the very latest to, to distinguish this Groundhog Day from the last Hunter Biden mm-hmm. Groundhog Day? Well, Mark, the, the, the latest news, of course, is, is the uh, what the House Oversight Committee has just released uh, is, is documented evidence, i.e. bank records that show that um, in uh, 2000, uh, let me not get the dates wrong, because there's, there's so much in this Hunter Biden thing, it's always in this year and this year. But this was all kind of like 2017 to 2019, uh, you know, what, what we're so really talking a- about. after former vice president, before presidential candidate in that period. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, basically, uh, in in terms of the timeline, obviously, Hunter Biden was uh, making all these financial deals overseas, and he was influence peddling while his father was uh, Barack Obama's vice president. Yes. Um, However, in terms of the actual financial payments, they happened, yes, they happened after Joe Biden left the White House as vice president and before he entered the White House as as president. Um, so, but but anyway, so the the latest thing is that uh, they found that uh, a company called Owasco PC, which was a company uh, set up by Hunter Biden, was making monthly payments, or at least made an arrangement to make monthly payments to Joe Biden, um, and uh, the the amounts each month. They they know that at least three consecutive months. Um, at the end of, I believe, 2000, and I hate to get this year wrong, um, 2000, 2019, I believe, but it could have been 2018. And I feel silly because I wrote about this just, just recently in the pages of Liberty Nation. It's a fantastic Nation. article. I recommend everybody goes read it, reads it on the pages of LibertyNation.com. Uh, but again, it's so difficult to keep up with all the dates yeah. of what happens with these with these different things. And I've written so many articles now about it. But anyway, he got these he was getting these monthly payments from this company and the company he was getting them from Owasco PC also is the same company that actually received money that came from China. Uh, some of that money ended up with with the company Owasco. So, you know, uh, Hunter Biden's lawyer is saying uh, well, this was simply Joe Biden mm. being paid for the fact that he was making payments on a pickup truck for Hunter at a time when Hunter was kind of down and out, which mm. I thought was pretty much all the time. But 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 that's just my opinion. Um, so, you know, oh, there's nothing wrong with this because he was just repaying money that, that, that Joe Biden had essentially kind of loaned him or at least made these payments for. Uh, but the, nevertheless, the fact that it doesn't that to me, that doesn't really matter. What matters is the fact that this money came from a Chinese energy company mm. uh, l- linked to the Chinese Communist Party. And uh, that money ended up going through a couple of different companies 
and ended up, at least some of it ended up going to Joe Biden. So whichever way you look at it, his contention that he never got any money from China and that he never had any anything to do whatsoever with his son's businesses, both of those now have been proven to be false. I mean, you can say yeah. that there's no proof of, you can say that there's yet maybe no proof of criminality. I think even we're getting to the point where that's debatable, but certainly there is proof that what Joe Biden said about his relationship yeah. with his son and his relationship with China uh, were both not true. So th there's a couple of points that I've I've seen uh, supposed experts. I, I'm doing the finger quote oh, thing yeah. Yeah, uh, for those listening on radio. On there are so many uh, experts out there that, that I, it's hard to keep up with them all. So the the points they're making essentially in order to poo poo this latest release from James Comer, the chairman of the House Oversight Committee, uh, are, are that firstly that this is basically Joe being a good father and he. Uh, he paid for Hunter's truck and then Hunter paid him back. And that's how it works. Now, I don't know about uh, our listeners out there, but I'm, I'm sure many of them do own businesses, limited liability companies, et cetera, or LS, LLCs, I believe they're called in America. Mm -hmm. But if I were to try and pay back a personal loan from my company, the tax man would, would be having a field day with me right now. Mm -hmm. uh, so that, that's point one. And point two, the, I think the point you make, Graham, especially in your article I'm just here, is, is that there was a material benefit to Joe Biden from the business that mm -hmm. Hunter Biden conducted. Because yeah. if Hunter Biden did not conduct that business, which we know for a fact, the business was trading on the, the Biden name yeah. Yeah, and the Biden power base. Yeah. If he did not conduct that business, Joe Biden would not have got the serial payments back right right, right. yes I, see. And, and I think that that's quite a, an important fact that, that people seem to be poo-pooing it, it's it's mm. it's crazy when you look at the the internet the 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 yeah. interwebs and the social media and that there's so many defenders of joe biden saying well that just shows he's a good father you know yeah. paying out for his son's truck well a, a good father might you know buy their son a truck seeing as a you know that they, they were a vice president of the united states you'd imagine they could for to buy him a truck rather than get paid back out of a, a Chinese yeah. supported company after the money transfers through several bank accounts, which does raise red flags in itself. So yeah. do you think that this, uh, this latest information, will it be enough to convince the house Republicans to launch impeachment proceedings? Well, that's, uh, that's actually a very good question. Um, you would think by now that they would uh, that they would be ready to do this, and and it seems like they are because apparently now it's being reported that uh, they are talking about holding a vote mm. on proceeding with an impeachment um, next week. Um, we'll see if that happens or not, but the, I know that there are some Republicans who are still, for some reason, very kind of nervous about doing this. Um, I don't know whether it's because, uh, you know, after, you know, Donald Trump was impeached twice, uh, perhaps some some uh, Republicans are worried that this kind of just smashes, smacks as some kind of like partisan rep retribution or something. But, you know, we've got a real problem here because we've got, you know, money going from, you know, money flowing from China through these companies to Hunter Biden and then Hunter Biden you know, then sending this money on to other members of the Biden family. Through the James, company, let's make that clear. Yeah, Through yeah. the companies. James, James and Sarah Biden got, got some money into their company. And then right after that, and this was something else that I previously wrote about, uh, right after they received that money, their company received the money, uh, Sarah Biden, James Biden's wife, uh, then took $50,000 cash deposited in the, into their personal account, and then almost immediately wrote a check for $40,000 to Joe Biden. And they said that that also was a loan repayment. Um, so it, but, it appears to me that Joe Biden may in fact be the most generous man in history in well, terms of all these loans to, to you family You know, what, what really is interesting about this, um, I, I, find, I find fascinating. Uh, and by the way, I just want to go back and correct one little thing because I was, I was getting my dates mixed up earlier and I said I, I, I wasn't sure of the year because I was, I was, I guess, a bit fuzzy-headed with all the different dates. Uh, these, these payments to 
Joe Biden actually happened at the end of towards the end of 2018. I think I said 2019. You know, here's the interesting thing, Mark, is that, you know, he's apparently he's lending money out right, left and center to all these family members. And yet and yet Hunter Biden wrote in a text message to his daughter one time. I hope you can do what I did and pay for everything for this entire family for 30 years. The, the, the two things do not jive. <laughs> they do not. Graham J. Noble, we'll be right back with you uh, after this short break. Listeners, don't go anywhere. We're going to be talking the anti-Trump hysteria that is filling the fourth estate right now. We'll be right back. We dismiss history at our peril. Liberty Nation Radio with Mark Angelides. <laughs> Don't get caught up in the media madness. Join our movement for free thinking and free speech at LibertyNation.com. Publishing news and analysis 24-7 with original articles by our team of authors who tell it like it is. Join us each week for online TV shows, The Uprising Podcast, and Liberty Nation Radio. We believe in free thinking and free speech. We are LibertyNation.com.